modern DNA profiles analyze short tandem repeats, or SDRs, composed of repeated units of 2 to 8 nucleotides. Like VNTRs, SDRs are located in non-coding region of chromosomes. STRs are highly polymorphic, having nine or more different alleles that can be detected. In this example, this person has inherited two different alleles of a particular SDR, one from his mother and one from his father. He is heterozygous for this SDR. This STR difference is detected using a technique called polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, which amplifies specific regions of DNA. PCR primers are designed to bracket the SDR. In this type of PCR, one primer of the pair is also fluorescently labeled. The same DNA region is amplified on one of the paired chromosomes. However, the different alleles amplify as different sizes. The amplified fluoresce because each has incorporated a fluorescent primer. Different primer sets are used to amplify each of the 14 SDR polymorphisms recommended by the FBI for testing. Here, there are three or four different polymorphisms and are labeled with each of four fluorescent dyes, blue, green, red, yellow. Amplified TNA fragments are located into one line of polyacrylamide gel, which can separate alleles that differ by only four to five nucleotides. The smaller pieces migrate faster than the larger pieces. Each labeled fragment is detected when it passes by a laser near the bottom of the gel. The laser reads all four colors and display an output of the PCR according to their size in the fluorescent colors of the amplified pieces. Let's look at the blue channel for this person, which shows the result for four SDRs. Each peak is an allele. Each locus occurs as a pair of peaks, or heterozygous, or a single peak, homozygous. For example, this person is heterozygous for D8S 1179. He has 12 repeats on one chromosome and 14 repeats on the other. He is also heterozygous for D21S11. This person is homozygous for D7S820. Both chromosomes have 9 repeats. He is also homozygous for CSF1PO. A completely DNA profile of 13 SDRs plus the sex marker comes with a randomly matched probability. This is a probability of a specific SDR profile occurring randomly in a population. The random match probability is calculated using the frequencies at which different SDR alleles occur in a population. To understand this calculation, we need to review how alleles are distributed in a population. Eye color varies widely in the population. It is probably determined by several pigment genes with multiple alleles. Let's look at a simplified example, brown versus blue eyes in a population. The allele for brown eye color is dominant over the allele for blue eye color. A dominant allele and the trait it produces is seen whenever one or more copies of the allele is present. However, blue eyes never completely disappear from the population, even though the allele is recessive. Here is the mathematical model, the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium by Godfrey Hardy and Wilhelm Weinberg, where P2 plus 2PQ plus Q2 is equal to 1. This model is a mathematical way of saying that in a population, alleles of a gene exist in a state of equilibrium. The frequencies of all alleles in a system all add up to 1. In a general population, for two different alleles, big A and small a, the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium can be stated as P2 plus 2PQ plus Q2 is equal to 1, where P is the frequency of the appearance of the big A allele, and Q is the frequency of the appearance of the small a allele. With this equation, P2 and Q2 represent the homozygotes in the population. 2PQ represents the heterozygotes. 
To relate this back to the eye color example, small AA determines blue eyes while big AA and big A little a determine brown eyes. How does all of this relate to calculating the random match probability of a DNA profile? Just like the eye color alleles, SDR alleles are at equilibrium in a population. If the frequencies of SDR alleles in a population are known, then the probability of inheriting a particular SDR combination or genotype allele can be calculated. For example, here is the readout for one person that shows four of the SDRs used in DNA profiling. Let's first look at D8S1179. The table below shows some of the allele frequencies for D8S1179 in different populations. The frequencies vary for different groups. Using the Hardy-Weinberg equation, let's calculate the frequency of a Caucasian being heterozygous for D8S1179 for alleles 12 and 14. Similarly, the frequency can be calculated for D21S11. Again, using the Hardy-Weinberg equation, let's calculate the frequency of Caucasian being homozygous for D7S820 for allele 9. Similarly, the calculations can be done for CSF1PO. For this DNA profile, the random match probability is the product of the individual frequencies of each of the four SDRs. In a typical DNA profile that tests for 13 SDRs, the random match probability is the product of the frequency of each. Random match probabilities usually range from between 10 to the 16th power and 10 to the 17th power. In other words, only one person in every 10 to 100 quadrillion million billions will have this particular SDR profiles. This number is far greater than the estimated number of humans who have ever lived. In 1996, population geneticists and forensic scientists agreed on an adopted Hardy-Weinberg formula to calculate the random match probabilities of DNA profiles for homozygous states. This new formula takes into account allele distribution in real populations.